Hey guys, how's it here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Climb to Master Return, Diamond 138 LP. And uh, you'll notice again, if I'm uploading these, it should be in chronological order. The timer is going up. Um, again, people are subbing and being really generous today. So that means the timer is going up and then obviously counting down after it. So it's going to be a long session. Over the next probably week or so, all the content will probably be from this stream. Because uh, we're playing enough to basically film for over a week. Uh, for no reason, really. I just thought we'd do it. Anyway, loading screen. Uh, so it's a Diamond 1 game, obviously. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that, but yeah. Uh, promotion series, the master, ladies and gentlemen. Again, if with how much we're playing today, if the, everything goes well, we could get there. Um, Diamond 2, though, is the Nico. Uh, Yumi, whatever. Looks to be a pretty good poppy. Really good rumble. A uh, little bit not great, Hecarim. I haven't played Yumi. Uh, I get these two champions confused, man. I haven't played Nico in the last 30 days, but I have played her quite a bit this season. Only one game is a bit weird, and then a one-trick pony thrush, as you can see. Uh, our team fight is insanely good, and honestly, I really don't see us losing this game. And I'm going to just say that straight up right now. And I know a lot of people go, oh, I said it. He never says that. No, I don't. I really never go, we're going to win this game in loading screen. Legit. I, based on team comp, I don't see how we lose, if I'm honest. They don't have much damage. And in a grouping situation, a Vi and a, a Poppy has to go all in. What, you're going to run into a Rumble and a Nico ultimate? Good luck. I just don't see us losing. Touch wood. <laughs> and they've got a Karma that's going to fall off. So, yeah. Is, yeah, if Ez gets super fed, it'll be annoying because it's a Yumi attached to a super fed Ezreal. So yeah, that'll be annoying, but Ezreal isn't, you know, the hyper carry of League of Legends. Kaisa's more of a hyper carry than Ez. And I don't see my bot lane losing? Question mark? Again, he's a one trick Thresh, so you'd hope he'd be alright. Imagine if Yumi detaches and in that split moment... Wow. Well, um, they you hook the Yumi. Be like, wow, feels bad. I like you in a good way. I reckon they'll be in uh you as in Viz. Wait, does she not know how her E works? That makes me a little bit worried if she thinks she's invisible now, because you only get the invisibility with E when you upgrade it, right? Oh my god, I mistimed. Oh! AD Nico? No. Mage. Mage Nico. I'm one of the rare people that still plays Nico in her intended, like, playstyle. But we don't play her that much, but yeah. I think she's actually pretty good, if I'm honest. Okay. Again, you've got to expect, by the way, Karma to be aggressive in the early game uh, because she's a support. So that means her scaling is bad late game, but really good high base damage. That's how supports are made. Um, so, yeah, just expect a bit of aggression in the early game, basically. It's the same if you've ever played against like a Lulu top or something like that. Oh, that timed bad. Again, Hecarim shouldn't be confused. Basically, there's champions in League that after their animation, after they press the button and a certain part of the animation is going off, the spell is going off. Like, that's just how it works. Tristana jump is the same. Ugh. I was, I was scared that Hecarim just left me to die, but then Vi had no more damage. Oh, dude. Dude! Oh my god. I thought that karma was just like suiciding. What just happened? You can stop Trist mid- Yeah, you can stop her mid-air. You have to time it really well, though. Like, really well. Look at my horse, my horse is amazing. Give it a lick, it tastes like raisin. Oh no. 
Just run. They can survive. Just run. Surviving that is actually pretty deep. Hook. <gasps> Hook. Oh, he didn't have it up. What the hell's the cooldown on it? Like, she's just going to come the same way, dude. Legit. She's just going to do the exact same gank. Oh, F in the chat. Do I have a main? No. I play a bunch of stuff and my champion pool changes all the time. It's what I fun find. It's what I fun. Wow. It's what I find fun. There you go. In League of Legends. The idea of one tricking to me is the opposite of fun or having even a main. Flexible champion pool, dude. And again, I'm a good example that you can have a flexible champion pool. And if you're okay with being mid diamond one, then yeah, you can get to mid diamond one by having a flexible champion pool. No. Oh. Oops. I think I've got quite a dry mouth today. By the way, I hate this matchup as, as Poppy. I've played it a few times, and if it's a good rumble, there's legit nothing you can do. She should be fine. Wait, did I say she? He. Ooh. So I think Glacial Ordman is better than Comet. It's matchup dependent. If you look at the enemy team comp, a lot of them have to get into melee range. So that's why I did it this game. But if you're against a high range team comp, then no, because you won't be able to do anything with it. Like, after I've got my first slow item, what, Vi is going to gank me and willingly come into all my slows and GLP and stuff like that? Hell no. Suicide if she does that. Used ult. Yeah, he could mate. Oh, he doesn't have ignite. This Vi doesn't seem great. And again, she's in master promo, remember? Always I wanna be with you. There's gonna be some people thinking, like, why is her singing a random song? But if any of you were, you know, in school in the early 2000s and you played mini clip games and stuff like that, there was a game called uh, Robot Unicorn Attack. And my god, that was a game and a half. That is, I believe, what Hecarim is modeled after. That game, that, that well, that's the arcade skin is based after that game. Remember the dolphin clip flip game as well, man. Those were the great games. Why do I feel Vi is bot lane? Whenever you see the enemy go aggressive with a thingy Yumi, to me it's like jungle is there. Because that's like legit just a poke lane more or less. Ezreal and Yumi. Until like they get help. Karma's really annoying at poke. Oh there's the Vi. Hey look bot lane. Who would have guessed? I remember I did a commentary a little while ago, a couple days ago. I said one of the things I want to actually do more is take them more. See, I'm, I'm listening to my own advice that I'm picking up. Isn't it great? Will you see me on Rise anytime soon? Considering that champion's getting like another rework, I uh, can't really say. Again, I don't really plan what I'm going to play. I play one of two things. Well, one of three things. One, I've got to be in the mood to play it. Secondly, it has to be pretty decent, or I think I can at least do decent performances on it. Or there's not really any point. Oh, and I have fun on it. Because what's the point of playing it if you're not going to have fun? Kill it! Eh, that's not too bad. It might actually end up doing okay there. 
Let's run. Nice. Oh, there's karma. Yeah, they're fine. Nice, 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 nice. I don't know what they're doing with Rise, by the way. I haven't read it. Does Vyga suffer in higher ratings? You never see them. That champion's very slow to be able to do anything. So that's probably why you don't see them. If I'm honest, I was kind of bored. <laughs> if, if, like, Huz, why did you just do that? Uh, a little bit bored, if I'm honest. Uh-oh. Nope. See ya. The boredom paid off. What chroma is that? The league partner one. Pog. I swear, whenever you mention something like a Twitch chat, the first, like, anything about YouTube or Twitch or anything, the first word that people say is Pog. Wait, what? Why was Ezra that deep without his Yumi? That sounded quite... We'll leave it there. We'll, we'll leave it there. You guys can continue that line of thought for me. What does Pog mean? Uh, I don't even know if I'm honest. I think it was it was it a Twitch employee that made a face. His name might have been like Pog. I don't know. That's what Kappa was. It was like Jason Kappa, and he worked for Justin TV, and he made a face, and they put it as an emote in League of Legends, and that's the story of Kappa. Come on! Oh, how we muck that up? Did I hear something, by the way? Was there a dono? I don't know. Ta -da! I will take my leave, ladies and gentlemen. Let me check. Was that anything? No. I'm hearing things. Huzzy's hearing things! By the way, Rumble having a free lane phase? <laughs> Rip the enemy team. Watch Rumble do the most damage in the game, by the way. I guarantee it. Oh my god! Is he gonna live? I don't think so, right? That what I just did, that was Pog. That was a Pog face. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> that was a natural Pog. <laughs> Wait, what? How it? I don't understand. Wait, hello? How is- what's going on? Like, maybe legit we could get Master today, if I'm honest, because, like, this quality of game today is just so weirdly low. Oh, she flashed. Wait, wrong one. Ekarim! Don't need to be a wall. Please get that kill. Give me an assist. No, you left it! She's not dead! Ooh, one! What two! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh, what is going on? We can sell that. 
Goddamn Hecarim, man. They get fed in every game. Yeah, I'm really strong. I'm the pony. Yeah. Hey, if games continue at this rate, we're getting mastered today. I, you know, I'm just saying. It's like, what is going on? I, I like... Ugh. Today, it seems that already it's going quite well. But, you know, that could flip at any moment. Yeah, the matchmaking gods have recently been not on my side. Because if you've been watching the stream, the amount of feeders that we've been getting is a lot. But today, it seems like the feeders are on the enemy team. Lol gods. Stay on the enemy team today. Oh, it's so close to being a double kill. My walking double kill. Wait, what's happening? That was quite high damage. Ezreal does a lot, man. It's surprising how much damage that thing does. Oh. Ezreal got it. Uh, Gabriel Bursi. Very much, dude. Am I in promo? No, no, no. We're at like 38 LP. We're at a season high. I think. Is this a season high? I think so. Ah! Oh my god. Why did that? How? Did, by the way, how you did dodge a Yumi Q? Just run around in a circle. The, clo the tightness of it that isn't close enough that she can turn it. It's really funny. That might be enough. Hey, let's go. Calculated. You know the uh, the YouTube video, the classic Barbara, Bob, Barbara Streisand song, but with the Triforce? That was an ex-teammate of mine that made that. Primex, I don't 100 buddies, dude. Yeah, an ex-teammate of mine won, won that. Vale in Absolute Zero. That was his video. One of the first viral videos of League of Legends ever. You haven't seen me in this good of a mood in a long time. It's for probably a couple reasons. One, I haven't thrown up. Two, I went on a drive this morning. I like driving. That puts me in a good mood always. Um, and three, the game's going good. Add those three conditions. And it's not bad, man. Not bad. Oh! Uh, YOLO Madsen. Very much, dude. Keep going to get master soon. Hopefully. Hopefully. Wimp. Oh, what? Well, we got you eventually. No. Bang. 
Ooh, that hook wasn't so good. What? Oh, why me? I think we worked out why. Guys, we worked out why. It was because she could kill me. Boom, we, we nailed it. Oh, wait. Oh my god, imagine if Hecarim pushed. Imagine if Hecarim pushed the Karma, the Yumi up to go on the Karma. Uh, Yumi's like, I'm out of here, screw this! Boom. Oh my god. Yumi's a really satisfying champion to kill. I think it's designed to be in a way though, because like her whole kit is like, I run in somebody, you can't hit me. And when you just absolutely, when you murder her, she's like, ah. Oh. Because like, especially when she, oh, this one actually bought boots. It's a bad sign when a Yumi buys boots, by the way, because that means they don't have any confidence in their own team. So, yeah. I like killing cats. Well, I'm a dog person. I don't mind cats, but I wouldn't go out my way to get one. If like, I don't know, when would I have a cat? If I get a partner and she wants a cat, I wouldn't say no. Some people be like, nope. I'd be like, okay, if that's what you want, that's fine. Mine. <laughs> oh no! There you go. What time was that? That would be after 20 minutes too. Hell yeah, let's go, dude. So another good game. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. We're playing quite well today. But again, we're playing solid. Um, and solid enough that it's like an FF every single game. Like the enemy team just isn't finishing the game. So like, okay. Gain 17. We went 3 2 6, 142 on 55. Damage done. We did not terrible damage. We actually do second most in our team. Karma does the most, if you're wondering why. Again, the game was more of an early game game. And she has high ratios. She, she, her poke would have been quite high. Um, but yeah, that was pretty good. Oh, 0 0 0. The legend of the 0 0 0 continues. Look what's happening. Top lane, man. Top lane. Top lane is just legitimately useless at the moment. I had a 0 0 0 Fiora game. Earlier, I had a Vladimir game that I didn't do anything. And now the Rumble has 0 0 0. He wanted that assist or kill right at the end with his, that ultimate, and it didn't happen. That's just kind of funny. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, throw a like on the video. Comment down below how are things are going for you. Hopefully, really well. And I'll see you guys next time. See you.